Um, so now we will tell you what happens when you first open a file with such configuration assigned. A number of the files in the managed workspace are downloaded to your working directory. And this slide shows how to find your working directory. And uh, what you would want to do is open up ProjectWise Explorer, then go to the tools on the menu bar, scroll down to options. And once you hit options, you'll see your working directory, click on the plus sign, and then you'll see when using ProjectWise Explorer. From here, you will select, as I mentioned, when using ProjectWise Explorer, and there is your working directory right below the red arrow on the left. And next, you would want to navigate to your working directory into a folder called Workspace, upper right-hand corner. Inside the Workspace folder are a number of the files that the Managed Workspace will download. And um, there's a few CFG files in here as well. What happens is when the managed workspace is being put together, ProjectWise combines the standard configuration files with the CSBs into a single CFG file. It then launches the product based on that file. The compiled file is named with a document GUID and a CFG extension. If you see the red arrow pointing to it, you can see the GUID that's CFG, and we'll discuss more on this GUID file in a um, few more minutes. This next slide introduces framework and operation variables. On the left is the workspace folder. Again, note the red arrow. I point this out because sometimes the workspace folder gets in the middle of all these DMS folders and some users have trouble finding it. So that's uh, why I keep mentioning uh, the workspace folder. I've had some cases where they say the workspace folders in there and it took a few times for us to locate it. Framework configuration variables start with USTN and framework configuration variables are used to set the basic paths. These are the two main variables that uh, the managed workspace uses, framework configuration variables and operational or user configuration variables. If you note, uh, notice on the right, framework configuration variables start with the USTN, and an example of that would be USTN underscore configuration, whereas the microstation or the operational configuration variables start with ms underscore. And an example of that would be ms underscore dgm live list. Operational or user variables are usually prefixed with the ms, as I mentioned, and are used to direct program behavior. Whereas the framework variables <clears throat> are used to direct program flow within MicroStation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.